In this video, I will test the sharpness of two of the most popular lenses for the EOS M mount. At the ending of this clip, we will find out which one wins. First, let me tell you a few things about the lenses. The first one is the Canon EFM 22mm f2, made for Canon's APS-C mirrorless cameras. It's a wide-angle lens and has the full-frame equivalent of 35mm. It's one of the smallest lenses Canon ever made and has a tiny front element. The second one is a macro lens, the Canon EFM 28mm f3.5 macro IS STM. It has the full frame equivalent of 45 mm. This one is a bit larger than the previous lens, but it also has a tiny front element. I am really curious to see how these two will perform. As always, there will be three rounds, sharpness in the middle of the image, sharpness in the corners, and diffraction. I will gradually close the aperture to see how the images change. The first round starts now, sharpness in the middle of the image. We only see the 22mm lens at f2, it has a good start. Now we see both lenses at their widest apertures. The right side also looks good. If we align them at the same f3.5 aperture, surprisingly, the 22mm lens is just a bit sharper than the macro lens. If we close down to f4, again, the 22mm lens is slightly, just slightly more sharper, but both lenses show very good results. Let's close all the way to f5.6, where the pancake lens on the left proves to have impeccable sharpness in the middle of the image, a bit better than what we see on the right. Now at f8, both lenses show the same performance. Honestly, I expected the macro lens to be better, but the 22mm lens won the first round, sharpness in the middle of the image. Let's now see the second round, sharpness in the corners. At f2, we only have the 22mm lens with a bad start. Now, if we bring in both lenses at their widest apertures, we see that the 28mm lens is sharper, but it's also at f3.5, a much more closed aperture. If we align the two sides at f3.5, we expect to have the same performance, but we don't. Again, the 22mm lens is sharper. I'm curious to see how this will continue. From now on, I will put a green X next to the better image. At f4, sharpness improves, but the left side is a bit better. Both lenses have good results in the corner now at f4.5, but look where the green X is. At f5, sharpness improves even more, but the winner is here. At f5.6, both lenses have excellent results in the corners. As we close the aperture until we reach f9, it's harder to spot sharpness differences, but overall, the left side was better. The 22mm lens also won the second round. It is just slightly better in the corner of the image. Let's now go all the way to f22 to see which lens handles diffraction better. The third round starts now. At f9, both of them had about the same result. At f10, they are more similar than ever. Let's see what happens if we close to f11. The left side is a bit more lit, but they still have the same sharpness amount. At f13, due to diffraction, image quality deteriorates. But now, at f14, something will happen. The 22mm lens lost more sharpness. At f16, the right side image looks the same, like it was before. Good diffraction performance. If we go all the way until we reach f22, both images will be too soft. So, who is the winner? The 22mm lens barely won the first and second round. It is just slightly sharper in the middle and in the corner of the image. The 28mm lens won the third round. It handled diffraction better. The 22mm lens, we can say that it won this fight. But the 22mm lens can't do this. I was photographing a wooden cube at close distance. Here is a photo with the 22mm at the minimum focusing distance, 15 centimeters, and here is the macro lens. Both of them show good sharpness in close-up shots, but the 28mm macro lens has the upper hand because it can focus at just 9.3 centimeters away from the camera sensor. It's a true macro lens with a 1 to 1 magnification ratio, and in super macro mode it adds 1.2x magnification. 
So who actually won this fight? You can tell me in the comment section. But as we saw, at normal distances, the 22mm lens is a bit better. I will make more videos like this one, I will test more lenses. If you want to see them, consider subscribing and see you on the next one.